My fingers! My fingers are smashed! Ah, how do you like them apples, Michelle? I do not like these apples. Luke, I asked for these eggs scrambled and they're sunny side up. There you go. You want to run cross country? Not across the whole country, maybe just Michigan. Definitely wasn't faulty brakes that caused the accident. Kirk is just an idiot. The Twilight Zone. My one and only offspring, the fruit of my loins. Too early. Loin fruit that she is. W-W-T-B-F-C-D. Barefoot's one word. Shut up, loin fruit. Chuck E. Cheese, Chuck E. Cheese is not a person. Luke, do you really think a giant mouse opened a national restaurant franchise by himself? For all you know, I could have brain damage. Oh, I'm pretty sure you do. An image of a, a happy animal, I don't know, a smiling penguin, or, or perhaps a peaceful looking giraffe. You think I should put up a stained glass window of a peaceful looking giraffe on the side of my diner? I'm just spitballing, nothing's written in stone. I'm not in a mood, damn it. Yeah, there's something about the way the Zamboni exhaust mixes with the beer that's really just out of this world. My sock drawer could be a better mother than Courtney Love. You know not to name a child Blanket. Don't underestimate me, Luke. I read, and I watch Battlestar Galactic. Lola, there's nothing funny about being a lesbian. You don't have to jump off the Empire State Building to know it's gonna hurt. Excuse me, uh, what's going on? Why are we talking about Lerma? <gasps> a Pop-Tart. Take me. Oh, Michelle. Do you like that, Mountain Ninja? Do you like the taste of my broadsword? He was like, yay high. I would have had tiny little yay high babies. Yeah, but he was your second cousin. I think you would have had other problems with those babies. Your bagel's a little frozen. I can microwave that bad boy for you. Oh, this? Yeah, subtle, isn't it? Do you know where snakes do not belong? On a plane. They do not belong on a plane. See this glazed look? Don't care. Gee, I can't think of any other bad things to do today. Let me look at the manual. Hey, gouging sounds fun. He loves, loves, loves chewing on these. They remind him of a squirrel carcass. Yummy. That glass slipper will fit my foot. I would have been the greatest pickle train conductor. Can you see me? All, all aboard, you pickles. Mom. Well, because you might be farming rutabagas or something, and I wouldn't want to know, because boring. It's just no sand killer, no sand whack, no sand rocking or pimping or slamming, capiche? Faux shizzle. There's gonna be an eject button here somewhere. Fight or flight, you know, fight or flight. And I just did my nails, so. Flight, flight. I thought it was cafe, ole, like coffee, all right. I was born in Marseille, and my parents were killed in a tra tragic accident. And so I was sent to the States and adopted by the evil Gilmores who refused to let me speak French, but I never forgot the accent of my mother country. Hey, after lunch, can we walk Hunky Dan? You mean Handsome Dan? Well, that's his official mascot name. Hunky Dan is what I call him when we're alone. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. And there's no tenderness. Listen, you pinhead. I mean, what if tonight I get hit by lightning and die a creme brulee virgin? A creme brulee virgin? And then he just went totally psycho. Psycho! No room service and no minibar, but two toilets. We switched to the metric system. Why don't they switch to our time zone? We didn't actually switch. I know. Hungry, hungry. Mm. Kirk, what are you doing? Trying to feel a kick. You're going to feel a kick if you don't get your hand off my stomach. Mmm, bread. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to move here, sit out on the front porch, and give the mailman a real chipper how do you do Don't you dare. But there's a line. I'm not gonna cobble my own shoes, churn butter, or watch a TV from 1976. Hardy har har. Oh, you can say hardy har har, but I can't say howdy do. But just because I love something doesn't mean I want it to be giant. I love grapes, you know, but I don't want to sit down and eat one humongous gra No, that would be fun. All right, all right, I won't say kiss me. Oh. Need your help, buddy. Dan cries about one drink away from hitting on Jerickson's wife. That would be bad. You dirty thief. Excuse me? You stinking lying, stinking ratty, dirty thief! Look, you already gave us Wolf Girl, which I mean, huh? How do you top that? It's a bad move, but it's part of a great tradition of bad moves by Taylor. That's nice. Someone's not impressed. No, she doesn't understand abstract art. Why do you have Santa's clothes? Because I used to do Santa's dry cleaning. You did? Yeah. Wow. I'm writing a letter. I can't write a letter. Why can't I write a letter? I'm wearing a green dress. I wish I was wearing my blue dress. My blue dress is at the cleaners. The Germans wore gray. You wore blue. Casablanca. Casablanca is such a good movie. Casablanca, the White House, Bush. Why don't I drive a hybrid car? I should really drive a hybrid car. I should really take my bicycle to work. Bicycle, unicycle, unitard, hockey puck, rattlesnake, monkey, monkey, underpants. <laughs> Mr. Daines, be quiet. Very dignified. Uh, Bach, Mozart. Celine Dion. Or Celine Dion. Oh, please don't, don't make me do that. Oh, this house is a giant Skinner box with Chippendale chairs. Hello? Tastes great. You know what else tastes great? Rum. I can no longer sit here and listen to this. Oh, good. Go sit over there. Hi, come bearing drugs. Please don't bellow that. Bellow what? Drugs? 
How are things going around here? Fine. It's like a canoe. What's like a canoe? Life. OK. I am kayak, hear me roar. Wow, I bet I look great. Yeah, she's like a giant pinata just waiting for some kid to take a mallet to her stomach and free all the goodies inside. Yeah, I'm thinking a doctor might be a better way to go. Probably but... not the right time to be talking about gashed heads and circumcisions. Except for the fact that we didn't schedule any bird watching. So? So what if people want to do some bird watching? Oh, please, no one would want to go bird watching. How do you know? Who wants to watch birds? Why on earth would you watch a bird? What is wrong with people? Walk in a hay, don't they have lives? Don't they have televisions and elliptical machines? I mean, what kind of weirdo wants to walk around in the maze of hay? Good morning. Me and lactose are bros. Glad to hear it. They call me Bozo. Bozo. Yes, and Rudolph and Scabnose. Oh. <laughs> this is the curb where I fell off my bike the third time. Oh, poor little Scabnose. Yes. Out of your gourd. No, I'm not. I'm very much in my gourd. What the hell? The veins in your neck are starting to pop out at me. Why is there a giant wall of hay right in front of my diner? Where the hell is my damn lemonade booth? If people start eating salty nuts and they don't have easy access to lemonade, then Mouse will fall off. Oh, I can do it? How's that? I can smell the hay. We can all smell the hay. No, dude. I can smell the hay. Although I'm proud. Total internal destruction? That sounds badass. Fantastic! Aye, aye, Captain. Please don't. Shiver me timbers. Are you done? All hands on deck. Now I'm done. So long. Farewell. I'll be there saying goodbye. Goodbye! Chilaquiles! Chilaquiles! Packing up the toaster. Oh, no toast tomorrow. That's so sad. The spackle well, or what everyone says to encourage a successful spackle. Have a good spackle? Spackle on. Break a spackle? Knock on spackle, things work out. You're the top. You have graduated. You're the top. Your grandparents are elated. Newspaper editor, Phi Beta Kappa, wow! You're a revelation, a huge sensation. You should take a bow. You are done. No more school for you. There is nothing now that you can't do. You make us proud, we'll sing it loud. It's true, cause now Rory, you're a bulldog through and through. Remember the time when you thought you saw Sandra Day O'Connor? Yeah, well, this is different. I haven't had any cough syrup. I... And I'm consulting with my muse. Your muse? Yes. Whenever I want to think up a new dance routine, I come in here all alone, lie down on the floor in the dark, and I let the muse inspire me. Did you want something? This is not a meeting, per se. We have already broken several Robert's rules of order. So don't tell Robert. This is highly irregular. Dude, you're who's highly irregular. Look at my ankle. Should I ask why? In my official capacity as town sash presenter, I would like to present you with this sash. I just like to see you happy. You can't stop my on the bus, make sure you choose a good seat, you know, because people are creatures of habit and the, the seat you pick in the beginning could be your seat for the rest of the year, you know? Get a window seat, honey, because there's so much to see and, and you might want to sit in the back of the bus because people there just tend to be more chatty and friendly and I don't know what it is about the front of the bus, you know, but uh, people there just tend to be a little more bossy and uptight. It's just been that way since, since first grade. And honey, and I know what you're gonna say, but just don't wear shorts, okay? No matter how hot it is, it's not professional. And, all that heat and those sticky vinyl seats, it, it'll be like ripping a giant Band-Aid off your thigh every time you stand up. Don't be too shy. Don't be too forward, but don't be too shy, because you make a lovely first impression, but you really grow on people, too. Mom. You need Ziploc bags. You should have them all the time. They're so handy. Mom. And I'm going to give you that orange sweater. I know you've wanted it, and um, you know what? I'm finally going to give it to you. Wait. Right. I'll get you a thermos that says World's Greatest Reporter to match your cap. Oh, yeah, about that. I meant to tell you that I left that cap at home. What? Well, it wasn't very flattering. Well, how would people know you're the world's greatest reporter? I don't know. I guess I'll just have to read your stuff.